I often get asked about travelling to an away games. Um, people assume maybe that I go by train or various other means of transport. The truth is that I travel by car to virtually every game. And even when I travel on my own, which is a lot of the time, it's actually more cost effective these days and more reliable uh, to travel by car. And especially when RRG Group, who are one of my supporters, um, let me borrow for a test drive one of these fantastic Corollas even though when I say fantastic, it's red for this weekend's trip to Chelsea. So very appreciative of that. Um, but I love driving and particularly in a, in a lovely car like that. And it's very fuel efficient too. So let's see what this weekend has in store. Chelsea against City. Looking forward to it. Chelsea fans, only a pound. It's a good job I was in a nice car today because the journey was six hours long. There were all sorts of problems on the motorway. I'm not complaining. I'm here now. And people come all sorts of different routes to get here. And what are they expecting from this particular game? Down the years, City haven't done that well at Chelsea, but obviously things have improved a lot in recent years. But I've been here long enough to remember the bad times as well. So what's the mood of City fans here today down at Stamford Bridge? Obviously Chelsea coming off a 4-1 victory against Spurs and uh, Cole Palmer and Raheem Sterling the opposition. As ever, let's see what happens. How did you get here today? What's your journey been I like? I drove. We set off about half nine this morning and we drove down. Stopped at Oxford Services and we're parked. Where are we parked? The side of Parsons Green. Other side of Parsons Green, yeah. In a... Do you ever consider the train or a coach or anything? Because I've come down in a car today. Oh. Um. To be honest with you, no. No, because if there's three of us on in the car, and then you're paying, what, I don't know, 60, 70 quid petrol to get the train for each of us, it's, you know, it's extortionate, isn't it? So, not really, no. I don't, don't mind doing the car, to be honest with you. What are you thinking today? Obviously, Chelsea had a great win last time out. Yep. And uh, I've seen quotes from Cole Palmer saying he's got a point to prove. Well, they had a great win last time out. I thought they, they were a bit poor, I thought, to be honest with you, against Spurs. Down to nine bell, I thought they struggled a little bit, didn't they? I thought they did, but that's not to say they might not beat us today. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought they huffed and puffed at that. It was only the last few minutes, wasn't it, that they actually broke that offside trap and scored a couple. But and Cole Palmer, um, he probably has got something to prove. I never, I thought he was okay at City. I never really thought he was really going to do it for us long term or anything. That's my honest opinion about him. I never really thought he was going to, you know, be a Phil Foden, for example. Um, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what he does. I know Pep was asked at the press conference on Friday about selling players to title rivals like yep. Jesus and Zinchenko went yeah. to Arsenal. And here we have Raheem Sterling and, uh, and Cole Palmer. Yeah. Is that something that bothers you as a fan? I don't think so. I think Raheem, I think we got the best years out of Raheem, to be honest with you. Um, I think he only scored a lot of goals for us because of the chances that we create. Really, he's not a footballer, is he? He can't, he's not a foot, he, he, if he didn't have pace, he probably wouldn't be a footballer, would he? If he didn't have pace. Um, but he scored a lot of goals for City. And I've got no qualms about him when he's City. You know, I liked him when he was at City. But I think we got the best years out of him. And he's come here, struggled a little bit, hasn't he? But, you know, and Cole, young, he's probably shifted him on, hasn't he? Because there's other players there that are ahead of him, really. So, yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's who's gonna question Pep? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna question Pep? No. Not me, that's just that. So yeah. You'd expect City to perform anywhere, wouldn't you, with the with the players that we've got against any standard of opposition. And when they do lose, uh, they do about to lose a couple of games a year. But things have to go right for the other team, I always think. And if City underperformed then today, yeah, it can always go like that. And yesterday, Tottenham slipped again. Newcastle slipped. Uh, Liverpool slipped at Luton uh, a week or two ago. Obviously, Arsenal, uh, United aren't really a title challenger, neither are Chelsea. I can understand why the fans sing Champions again, Ole Ole, can't you? Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. I, th I think like the bookmakers always put City as favourites, and I think every fan, when they're speaking clearly, would thinking clearly, would probably, probably agree because of the plays that we've got. And obviously, if you had KDB here today and Stonesy, then you'd be even more confident, wouldn't you? But we've not only got the players, we've got the man who knows the system and knows how to overcome other people's system. He is the best that there is. 
and that gives you a hell of an advantage, doesn't it, really? And I think Chelsea are, well, they are in the infancy of where they wish to be this time round. Um, and I would agree that maybe against Tottenham, it took them a while to get hold of that 10 and 9 men opposition. It took them a while, really, to sort that out. But you never know. VAR, a couple of decisions, the odd bounce, you can be 2 0 down anywhere, can't you, these days? I, I don't like to say, and I never like to say before the game, um, we're obviously a far, we're capable of winning, but Chelsea have just got to beat them at Tottenham, aren't they? So they're going to have the crowd behind them. I'll give you a prediction, I know what's going to happen. 2 1 City, Haaland will score a pen. Joe Wells, Doku off the bench. Doku, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing the Doku song. Did you sing the Doku song? What, your Doku song? We got him from many fucking eights, the Reds. If you pass him the ball, he'll rip your team to shreds. And he started playing for Man City, the greatest number of 11 in history. He happened to be blue. We call it Jeremy Doku. Brilliant. You're used to spinning the discs in. Uh... Mary D's, they've got a traditional band here, what do you think? Well, no, they're very good. They're not, they're probably not, probably not got the uh, skills of DJ Jacko, but yeah, no fair play, yeah. Strange one, really. Um, I'm expecting Cole Palmer to score, to be honest. Um, it's going to be tight. Uh, probably a 2 1 win for City. So I think we'll just nick it. Tough game. Um, but yeah, I think we'll win it 2 1. Am I detecting a southern accent in your uh, your voice? Yeah, we're, we're, we're southern. Uh, my dad's from Manchester. I'm um, a City fan. So yeah, been City fan all my life. 39 years old. So yeah, got all these games. So loving life. I think while they're singing, it's probably how most people feel, isn't it? Absolutely. Champions again, ole ole! Champions, Champions again! Champions again! Champions again! Champions again. Champions again. Champions again. Champions again. Champions again. Ole ole! I think there's two players that are going to try and turn us over today, and they've got a thing to prove to Pep. So I'd probably keep my eye out on them two. But if I'm honest, having watched Chelsea, because my other half's a Chelsea fan, it should be an easy win. If it's not, then it's down to us. They had a good win though last time out, didn't they? They did, they had a cracking win, and um, but they're just not clicking yet. They're not gelling, are they, really? And their, their back four are not the greatest. So if we can exploit that, we'll be happy. Given that City's opponents, rivals, if you like, at the moment, seem to be slipping up quite regularly, does this feel like another ole, 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 and no, the, we're going to win again? This feels like we're going to slip up because everybody else has slipped up. Now we're going to slip because that's what we do. We're City. We, we always sort of slip up, don't we? But if we can stay on top, then I'll be very happy. changes all the time so hopefully come on city we're doing it. but we can do better than this we are better than this lot we'll be here so come on come on city Let's see what the city fans think. 
best game I've seen in a long, long time. I take a point at the end. It was a, it was a mad game, but we take the point and we're on to the international break. City conceded a lot of goals there, though, didn't they? Oh, it was terrible defending, and it was a definite penalty at the end, but we take it. When we're two-one down, you think you'll take a draw. Obviously, going four three up to, so late, you think we got it, but. Fair play, Chelsea battled well. It was a good game. It was a really good positive game. positive was City never, ever gave up. No, we had so many chances. Like 10 shots on target. We, we flew at them. We created loads. We had loads of space. Um, we just couldn't be clinical at the back. I think we missed John Stones. We're a different team without him. But yeah, we'll take a point. We'll take a point. Yeah. Cool. Amazing roller coaster, obviously. To be honest, I never quite felt we had it fully under control, even though we led a couple of times. But it is what it is, you know. They're celebrating a draw, so that tells you how far we've come in the last few years. So yeah, amazing. It's been a long trip down. It's been long worth trip. it, hasn't it? What well, do you think of it? Yeah, it was Lisa's really nice. game My away. first way game. Well, yeah. they're all oh, as the good as that. In you'll... the UK. <laughs> no, she's not coming again. <laughs> it was poor defensively from City, but what a great game to watch. A, a memorable game on Remembrance Sunday. What more can I say? Fantastic. It was certainly end to end, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Rodri as a reflection, but brilliant. But Rod Rodri's majestic to watch. He really is. He's one of the best footballers I've seen. He's not awesome. That was brilliant. I really enjoyed that game today. It's a shame we didn't win it. Great game. Um, but what can you say? Four all. Had everything you want. Um, thought we were sloppy at the back at times. Easy to get at. Uh, Palmer and Sterling, it had to be, didn't it? But we looked good. We looked um, good going forward. I thought Alvarez had an off game. And I think if he and Harlan link up today, I think uh, a little bit better than that, he might have got the three points. But You coach junior football, so yeah. when you're watching that defending, you think, my defence is better than that. Yeah, that's exactly what we said. Um, he actually, Craig helps me do it, and he said, stop coaching. Well, you know, what you're doing, you're a coach up here. But... Yeah, um, I don't think the conditions helped. Slippy surface, people going to ground. It is what it is, Ian. Um, it's a classic football match, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's what you want. You come out, you know, you come out of town, you pay your money, and this is what you want to see. So, can't complain with the draw. If it was a, a ball nil nil, we could have all moaned then, but four all, I'll take that. I, took, I would have took the draw before the game as well, but nice that we got a few goals. It's a difficult game, it was always difficult coming here. Um, but I. Th we should have won. We should have won. Four apiece, great game. Um, for the neutral, everybody's going to love that. Yeah, for the neutral, but it's so frustrating. We can't kill the game off. We just cannot. Kill. We went 4-3 up, kill the game off. We do whatever you need to do, roll Z, whatever you need to do. We would score another goal. But yeah, it's frustrating, but what a great, what a game, what a game, yeah. Um, on to the next one, isn't it? You didn't defend well, didn't you no, know what, you know what the next one is. It's Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not bothered about that. That's what it is. We need to defend better. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, yeah. We'd have won that if we defended well. Simple as. No, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's all about the defence. I just wish he would keep a stable back three, four, whatever it is. Do you um, miss today, John Stones? Yeah. Well, John miss Stones John Stones. Injured, he? So yeah. yeah. yeah so there. what's the plan for when John's not there? Before the game, though, would you not have looked at Kanti and Ruben Diaz and thought they're the perfect pair at the back? Yeah, but John Stones went through that learning period of learning that position. We're open to. We can do better. Get Rico in the team. He's the one who's got the brains for that. Well, I think there's only one way to describe that game. It was a classic game of football. Um, uh, all right, City didn't win, but they showed a lot of character in that game and proved to me that in, in the biggest games, because I thought Chelsea played really, really well, uh, they can step up City, they can come from behind and they can fight in adversity. So that's a really positive sign going forward. So I think any Blues watching this should be really positive and uplifted by watching that particular performance and hats off to Chelsea as well for making it such an absolutely classic game. I really enjoyed that. Thanks very much to uh, MalteringOffenseLawyers.com, uh, to Timson, to RRG Group, of course, for the, uh, the car, which I'll have the comfort of driving back in. And thanks to you for watching. And during the international break, I've got three more videos uh, popping up. One about City in the community, one about Dave and Sue Wallace, King of the Kip Acts, as that comes to a conclusion, and one about a new City book that's coming out. So why don't you subscribe, click the bell button, 
which means you get automatically notified. And, and thanks very much for watching. Isn't it great being a blue?